I'm here with Jeremy, the band, May. Dude, to have you on an Australian fight card in Melbourne at AFC 1 is absolutely amazing. I'm so looking forward to calling this fight. How's your fight preparation been leading into the event? It's been sick, it's been sick. Um, right before I came out here, I was sparring 10 rounds at a time and coming out on top every round. So I'm excited for this fight. I feel ready, feel pumped. I'm back up to like 94 kilos right now. So. I'm good. That's awesome, and that, you know, um, how, how, how do you, what's your game plan leading into the event tonight? Like, how do you see the game going tonight? Um, I, I, I love to stand and bang, but um, if he if he tries to take it to the ground, I've got a few triangles and arm bars that I plan on throwing his way. Well, you know, Ross Dello, you know, he's five and six. He's really looking forward to evening evening up the, the bout. You know, he's got some jujitsu off his back. How do you feel about that being on top as well? I've got, I'm coming out with a little vengeance. My last fight, I beat myself in, and um, I want to prove to all my fans I'm worth following. Well, I've got a good feeling about that tonight. I'm looking forward to calling the fight. Jeremy the Bamp, mate. All right, fight fans, I'm here with Ross Dello. He's fighting against Jeremy May and the co-main event. How do you feel about that matchup, Ross? Uh, Jeremy has confirmed himself to be a douchebag, so I'm really looking forward to this one. How's your, how's your fight prep been leading up to the event? Uh, cutting weight, uh, eating lots of ice cream now. Um, preps. Good and hard and ready. That's awesome, man. I understand you. You're coming out of Sia Paulista Academy. How's your prep been in regards to your jiu-jitsu as well? My jiu-jitsu is pretty grace. Uh, pretty grout. <laughs> uh, lost for words, it's that good. Um, I'm just looking to go out there and have a good hard fight. Well, I'm looking forward to calling the fight, Ross. All the best, mate. Hopefully you can get a, a six up there in the week column. Ross Dello. All right, guys, Australia versus USA. The first series, USA, is up 1-0. Our chance for redemption, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing first from the blue corner, fighting out of Werribee, Victoria, and representing Australia. This the is White Devil Ross Dello. and gentlemen, also a former Ultimate Fighter Series contestant fighting out of Miami, Florida, United States of America. This is the Banff, Jeremy May. So I'm just going to bring everything I have on the night. I'm just going to throw as much of it as at him. And uh, hopefully, I'm the one that ends up on top. He knows if I'm on top, that's the end. Basically, I call it style of Jeremy Jitsu. It's a combination of whatever it takes to beat your ass. MMA knockout of the year, 2009. A head kick at the start of the third round. Beautiful. Looking to redeem myself by knocking out Ross Salo. Oh, he hasn't got many weaknesses other than he's fighting me. I'm really excited. I can't wait to smash someone's face in Ross. I know my weaknesses, so I'm the person that's gonna to get to my weakness first, and I'm gonna re reverse that and use it as my strength. Everyone's scared of the devil. Devil ain't that bad. In the co-main event of the evening, the White Devil is 12 years older than Jeremy May and is eight centimeters the smaller of the two fighters at 84 kilograms. The Banff is even at seven and seven, Ross Dello having five wins with six losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Compania for the start team. Official weight, 83.25 kilograms. Standing six feet tall, this man is a BJJ fighter. He has had 11 fights for five wins. Tonight wearing black shorts with red trim. Fighting out of Werribee, Victoria, and representing Australia. Please welcome Ross, the White Devil. Fighting out of the red corner, training out of American top team. This man is a Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu fighter. Official weight 84.9 kilograms, standing six feet three inches tall. The former ultimate fighter, ladies and gentlemen, 15 fights for eight wins. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, representing the United States of America. Please welcome the fam, Jeremy. Ross, 
Costello, uh, the local lad. Probably his biggest uh, challenge of, uh, of to date, I suppose, of his career, Frank. Absolutely. I mean, when you're up looking, staring down at Jeremy May in the other corner, man, I tell you, it's a scary sight. He's a big dude. He's got great striking and his jiu-jitsu is sick. So, man, Stop. it's going to be a tough ass for Della. But, hey, four ounces, baby. Australia versus USA. Jeremy May, Ross Dello. Ross Dello, the bald head, Jeremy May. Watch for that right hand. Watch for that right. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh nice clinch from Dello. Beautiful double underhooks. Nice pummel in by May. Fending off the takedown. He's going to try and turn him around. May's going to try and turn Dello around against the ropes. I was going to try and hook his leg and take him down. There he goes. Just turned him against the ropes. Of course, uh, May was on Team Rampage, the Ultimate Fighter Series. Lost his second fight in the series against uh, tough Matt Brown. Dello's fighting hard for a high crutch. He's going to try and get his right arm deep and lift him off the ground and put him on his back. But, you know, Jeremy May's got some great wrestling as well. He's not a pure wrestler, but he's got some good wrestling. He's going to hook the leg. He's going to try and take Dello down. But Dello's doing a great job in keeping his balance and keep rushing. He's going to take the down. Oh, Beautiful so take. Oh, he's got that. Is that deep? Oh, I don't team. know. Of course, uh, his last fight out, made he's got he got lost. Pretty deep. He's got a pretty deep. Was a, a loss to Marilo Rua, of course, a little brother of Shogun Rua. He's clinching up the body triangle. This could be it. He's got his hand together. If he can squeeze it out, he might get it out. Dello's trying That's to pull. That's pretty deep. That's really deep. That's really, you can see how he's bringing his hands up. It's a sign of struggle. Dello's trying That's to pull. Oh, can't. he's pulled his arm out. Okay. Yeah, Dello up. should be all right. He should be okay. He should be okay. He's going to pop his head up. There you go. There you go. He pops out. Right. Dello. The Aussie, out. The Aussie survives. He survives. Okay, he's going to look at some ground and pound right now. He's going to get good head position there. Jeremy made the close guard. We're going to see what kind of jiu-jitsu game the, the Banff has. Aussie back. Up his back. He's creeping his legs up a little more, trying to look for a submission, maybe an armbar. Here he goes. He's looking for the armbar. Okay, very wise to it. The white devil pulls out of it. He's going to try and pass the guard here. There he goes. He's trying to pass to the left side. Oh, okay. He's got the triangle. Um, this uh, is very, very bad. If he underhooks the leg with the right hand, if you see the bamp underhooking the leg, this could be over. This triangle is deep. He might look for the armbar. Dello's trying to pick him up armbar. and slam him. He's squeezing it out. He's got him down. He's got his posture broken. This is deep. This could be over. If he can just pull on the head and pop his hips, it could be over. Jeremy May's got that deep. He's got to keep fighting and squeezing it out. Dello should be trying. You know what Dello should do is maybe try and get him under the ropes and try for a restart. Well, he's got to get his left knee underneath his butt. If he can put his left knee underneath his backside, he can start pulling his head out. Start to pull out. This looks very, very bad. There's only so much air you have inside you. If the Banff keeps squeezing, this could be over. But Dello's doing well to defend. But the other side of it too is, Mark, is that the Banff could actually blow his legs by trying to finish. Yes, it's up. So because it's taking so long to finish, I don't think it's quite right. But if the Banff's got the experience that I think he has, he might be able to look for the armbar and finish. If he reaches with his right arm and underhooks Dello's left leg, he could get a bit tighter. Dello He's going to go for the armbar. Dello trying to pop He's going to go for the armbar. There it is. If he can just clear the neck. But Ross Dello's going to wait. Here he goes. That's deep. That's tight. Testament to the to Ross Dello, man. This, this, this boy is Ross stuck Dello. deep in a triangle. If the Banff can get that angle a little more, he sees a lot, he's very square on. If he can get to the right-hand side a little more and get his angle, he can get a lot more pressure on the carotid artery mark. Yeah, he's had some he's had some good subs. He did five wins from subs. He's going to go for the armor. Jeremy May. Get that up, get that up. So he's uh, 71.4% nice wins oh, he's up out, by subs. Out. Okay, he's out. Ross Dello's out of the triangle. Hopefully May's not gassed. Yeah, but how much energy has, uh, has Dello sort of put into uh, surviving and what does he have left? I think also you've got to keep in mind, boys, Jeremy May had to cut some serious weight for this fight. So you've got to wonder how much that is going to take out of him. Exactly. Going for a restart. Okay, Jeremy May is going to try and get back up on his feet, I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling he's going to want to try and stand up and get some blood back into the rest of his body rather than stuck down in his legs, hammer. Yep. Or he might go to first submission, but he's in half guard, so I've got a feeling he's going to try and get out of here. Half guard and he's locked. Thing is, he's on, he's on Jeremy May's uh, weak side. And so Jeremy's got to readjust. Nice. Oh, nice. The, nice move. Pass to the guard. But Dello's got to watch side out. He's got his arm between the legs. If the Banff can push him into a triangle, this could be open again. Oh, nothing. So he's going to be able to pop out of that easy with that yeah. arm. And he does. Nice work. Jeremy May is trying to get back up on his feet. Ross Dello's got that underhook. Just keeping his uh, wrist locked together, May. Ross Dello's been working hard out of Sia Paulista Academy in Australia. 
And let me tell you, he's got some subs as well. Don't worry, he's got a very, very dangerous guillotine. He could be setting it up right now. If he stands up and wraps a guard, he might have this. If he turns off to the side, he might even be able to turn into a Peruvian necktie as well, Hammer. Jeez, that'd be a massive upset. If he can get a sub if on May... If he puts his right leg on his back right now, Hammer, and he can sit back, he might have this tight. I can see uh, May just keeping a hold of that leg. Now he goes turtle. This is better work from Dello. Chipping away with the left hand, chipping away with the left hand. May not doing enough. Well, I'll tell you what. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. Ross Dello, when it was looking very dire for him indeed, came back well. Man, he, he must have dug so deep into his spirit and DNA to withstand that choke. Rostello wants to get it on, Keep becoming very impatient. It's like a back injury, I think, to mate. Or eye. Okay, if it's a if it's a poke in the eye, he has five minutes to recover. I'm not sure what it is though. Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner as a result of a disqualification, and we're all going to interview there with Frank Parker. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner from the red corner, USA, Jeremy the Bell All right, I'm, I'm here with Steve Percival. Let's give Steve a chance to explain to all of us what has happened to have the result as a disqualification. Okay, basically, basically when I went over to Jeremy's corner, Jeremy was complaining that his eyes were affected by some liniment or something which is illegal in MMA. I then went over to Ross's corner. I could smell the liniment around Ross's corner. So when I went back to Jeremy, I gave Jeremy I've changed my name from the white devil to the dirty devil. <laughs> so it was that smell of sulfur dragging him to hell with me. <laughs> and he was, he was joking me out. So, you know, us Australians, we get down and dirty, it doesn't matter how. It uh, might feel the sweat or the toxins coming out of me. I cut down to the required weight, which obviously there's some bad shit coming out of my body when you drop eight kilos in uh, but one day. the triangle sunk in. When, when did you start feeling this this happen? This R, I think it was when this R passed over my face, and uh, I felt it burn. I looked right over my corner. I was like, I, I, my eyes were burning, and uh, I tried continuing. I told the ref I didn't want to, I didn't want to stop, but there's nothing I can do. I can't see. Well, Jeremy, look. Regardless, it was absolutely awesome to see you here fighting on, on AFC One. It's very exciting for us to have you here. I'm sure we'll see you again. Jeremy, mate, thanks for coming down. Much appreciated. My apologies. Like I said, I don't want to win this way. I don't like this. <laughs>